Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day and welcome back to the Valder BB Show. We've had a fabulous morning. I've got one more guest I want you to hear. I've got Siri Daly. She's here giving tips and advice on how to involve kids in mealtime prep. Siri, welcome to the Valder BB Show and Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Thank you for having me. Well, I know you're going to give us some help with picky eaters, and you also have some sweet steak details. So let's get started. How do we stay connected to our kids after this winter break? Yes, it's a great question because I know that, you know, we had so much quality time together over the holidays, and now they're back in school and busy. But we try to prioritize family dinners a few nights a week. Um, where, you know, we're just all involved in the process. I'll have my kids maybe set the table and to make that fun, I'll have them make their own little place settings and they can choose where we're all going to sit. And when we sit down, we'll play games. We'll do an old fashioned game of telephone. Sometimes that's always a hit just to really make sure that we're all engaged and present, um, during that time. So we did a lot of cooking while the kids were home. How do we get them involved in the mealtime prep? They ate very well, but how do we get them to do the prepping? Right. So I like to try to pick a day of the week where we'll make something together that maybe they can snack on throughout the week. So whether that's mini banana muffins or um, apple cinnamon granola bars, that's something we make a lot. Um, if they're involved and they make it with you, they're going to be much more excited about, you know, finding it in their lunchbox or having it after school. And so with this, this interaction with our kids, what's the payoff for parents? I mean, I just think that you're, you're making memories when you're cooking together in the kitchen. I think that all of that, like the, the kitchen for us is really the hub of our house. It's where we connect, where we, where we just kind of disengage and disconnect from the rest of the world and we're present. And um, I mean, I know as a kid, I made most of my memories with my mom in the kitchen. And I just, I feel that that, that same thing is happening now with my own children. Hello, my audience, to know that Siri Daly, she's a mom, she's a self-taught cook, and a recipe developer. And she's the founder of Seriously Delicious. And it's a popular food blog. You, not, you definitely have to know about that. Siri, let me ask you, how, how do we combat out? I know I asked you this a little bit earlier, but how do we deal with those picky eaters? Because they're picky at every meal. Yeah, I definitely have some picky eaters. So I just have to remind myself that their palates are always evolving, always changing. So you have to just try an ingredient more than once. You know, don't give up on it. Um, Prepare it in different ways. For instance, my daughter will eat an apple if it's dipped in peanut butter. So you just have to like get creative, keep trying. And just remember like my 12 year old, for instance, he has a pretty well rounded diet now. And that gives me hope for my younger ones. You've got the cookbook, Seriously Delicious, 100 Nutritious and Not-So-Nutritious Simple Recipes for the Real Home Cook. But along with that, I know you've got a sweet steak. Can you tell me about that for parents? Yes. Um, if you go to juicyjuice.com slash seriously fun, and that's seriously with an S-I-R-I, um, you can win $100 towards um, groceries. You can win a signed copy of my book. Um, they're picking five winners per day. And also, if you just go to that site, you're going to find a ton of awesome recipes. Um, I cook with Juicy Juice a lot. It's a staple in my household. Um, it really enhances the flavor, and, and you'll find a bunch of, of fun recipes you can make with your kids. Siri, I want to thank you for stopping by the Valder BB Show. And where can we find out more about you online again? UCJuice.com slash seriously fun. Thank you for Happy having New me. Year. Thanks for being here. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.